Yeah, hi guys, Peter back for yet another video. Today I'm gonna to do an album ranking, but um, it'll be ACDC, and it's this album, but it's Dirty Deeds Done Dirt Cheap, but not the international one, the original Australian one. Now, I love that cover, that comic book style, the you know, drawing sort of thing, and it's really good. I really love that cover. Uh, yeah, and there's the back. Nine tracks, there's the other guys. Of course, um, they had Bon Scott, Angus Young, Malcolm Young, Mark Evans, and Phil Rudd. S released on September 20th, 1976 in Australia. There you go. So we're gonna rank the nine songs. Now, I I'm um, I prefer the Australian to the the um, the international version because of the there's a few differences in the, in the so in the songs on the international one, but yeah, and I like to prefer the cover as well, for that matter. Okay, so I've heard this album over the years many many times, so I pretty much like everything, Connie. I think it's one of their best, a top five album for me. Um, yep, what can you say? Classic Bond Scott ACDC with Angus Bond and Angus. The focal point with the the great band behind um, the rest of the guys behind them, uh, very um, uh, tight unit they were. So here we go, guys. Number nine, I went for a song I like. There's going to be some rocking. Um, very much just an old rock vibe type of song. Got a bit of a fifties fifties sixties feel to it. And it just chugs along nicely. Um, an, an awesome uh, vocal from Bon Scott. A song I've always really liked. So I, I don't dislike anything on here. Uh, but something's got to come at the bottom and that's it. There's going to be some rocking uh, from this album. Number eight, um, I went for Squealer. I like Squealer. I like how it starts to slow and Bon sort of... Uh, low voice comes in sort of whispering it really takes off and a, a really scorching um guitar, guitar solo at the end by angus but um i like how it it's got that light and shade it's got slow and then it got builds and it really takes off but for me it's always been a catchy tune a song that doesn't get talked about a real lot but i always liked it squealer number eight uh number seven this is really an old style um type 50s rocker, I guess you could call it, really stomps on real rock and roll, so to speak. R.I.P. Rock in Peace. Uh, really catchy tune. I like it. Uh, it's got a good pace to it. It's got a good catchiness to it. It's got that old rock vibe. And typical ACDC, really, really like it. So as I said, guys, there's nothing really I don't like. It's, there's not much between some of these, but probably at the top, you'll find there's a little bit of difference but you know in the in what I, you know the, the i guess the top three to four is better than the rest but the other stuff's really good uh number six i went for big balls now this is the bond coming this is vintage bond because it's got that double entendre the double meaning you know what it's big balls what does he mean by that it's got that double meaning you guys know the song you know what you know what we're talking about um yeah um very clever lyrically and it's got a bit of a vaudeville uh feel to it musically it's got a bit of a uh, quite a uh, acdc um uh, one thing's a lot one thing i really like about them they've got really especially in the bond days that sense of humor you know they um yeah they c can really um bring off a bit of humor in the lyrics and uh, it feels like they don't take themselves too seriously you know but it's a cleverly done song, and I always liked it. Number five. Um, the long track. Ain't no fun waiting around to be a millionaire. Really good telling uh, the story of uh, rock and roll life. Bond sort of telling it, you know. Um, you know, you, what happens to you uh, in a band and so on. As you can tell by the title, Ain't No Fun Waiting Around to Be a Millionaire. Um, the tragedy of this is the they've taken 30 seconds off 
this on the internet when they did the international version. So, so they cut the song, which is not great. I'd rather hear the whole song, you know. And there's there's a bit of that going on um, when they release these albums in the US and overseas. So yeah, the the full version is here on the original, and um, it's a really good song. Really like it. Number four, classic song, played to death, um, but you got to admire it. You got it. It's a pretty much a staple at all their shows. Um, oh, when I first heard it back when I was really young, yeah, I, I thought it was just great. I still, I still think it's really good. I still think I can um, listen to it. Although you know you hear it a lot. Dirty Deeds Done Dirt Cheap, the title track and first track from the album is number four. Number three, these sort of these three sort of stood out really. You know, was evident. When I look, yeah, you know, had to do this video. Number three has a fantastic riff, and um, a fantastic riff and a great vocal from Bon Scott. He really rips it out. He's really got uh, what I loved about Bon is the, you know, um, some people have just, uh, you know, he's got a charisma about him. He's got something about him, you know, and he's got he's got his. His vocal style, and he's a really good songwriter and frontman entertainer. I could say, you could say, but you know, um, yeah, it's it's hard to explain. But he's got this charisma about him, this thing, you know, that he really stands out. So, Problem Child is Vintage Bond and ACDC, of course. Great song, number three, number two, a real oddity in their um, discography, but just a great song. You know, sometimes I feel it is my favourite on here, but except for what, another song. Um, bl bluesy, great bluesy guitar from Angus, really slow track, very melancholy, very unlike ACDC. This is not typical of ACDC at all, this song. But it's a real beautifully written song, and I, I still love it. I played it the other day, and I thought, oh, it's, it's still awesome. Number two, Ride On. A top ten song for from ACDC for me, easy. Number one, a song which, when I first got into them, you know, was probably not the first song I heard. I think High, High Voltage would have been way back in the day, but it wasn't too far after that, and I loved it ever since. You know, it's got the lyrics, the good lyrics. It's got a bit of um, theatre with the, um, when Angus, you know, um, the, um, you know, um, replicates you know the gunshots with the guitar and all that of course you know what i'm talking about jailbreak probably till the, this day my number one song by them and an obvious choice as the winner here so that's number one jailbreak a great great acdc song and uh, made number five in the australian charts way back in the day so there you have it so i'll go through it again uh Ranking the uh, songs from ACDC's Dirty Deeds Done to Cheap, Australian um, um, version, not the international one. Uh, number one, Jailbreak. Number two, Ride On. Number three, Problem Child. Number four, Dirty Deeds Done to Cheap. Number five, Ain't No Fun Waiting Around to Be a Millionaire. Number six, Big Balls. Number seven, R.I.P. Rock in Peace. Number eight, Squealer. And number nine, There's Gonna Be Some Rockin'. Quite an easy list to do for me. I've heard this one of my... Probably most played albums in my um, in my collection, but um, yeah, great, great album. There you have my list. Put yours down. Please like, subscribe. Just just press a like or subscribe. Doesn't need too much trouble. I, I like seeing comments because I like comparing what I think to what other people think. So there you have it, guys. Um, put it, put it, put all your comments down below. All things ACDC. And as you know, they've just started the world tour in, I think it was Germany the other day. Um, obviously, we're hoping to get, uh, well, they usually come to Australia all the time, so that looks good. And um, yeah, so they're still out there. Uh, Brian, Brian's there and Angus, Stevie and the other two, um, the other two, Phil, um, Phil, their names escape me, but I do know who they, I do know that, their names replacing uh, Phil Rudd and Cliff Williams. So there you have it. What do, what do you think about this uh, album? Put your um, list down below your order and, we'll, and I'll be interested to see it. Bye for now, guys. Bye.